District 5960 Rotarians, welcome to spring and the April edition of Around the District. This is Ed Merrick, your district governor, and joining me today are Kenny Kloster, your district governor-elect, Dale Quigley, your district governor nominee, Patricia McLeese, your district governor nominee designate, and we have a special guest this, this month, Kathy Inglesrud from the Public Image Team. Kathy, what do you want to share? Thanks, Ed. Last December, Rotary International President Holger issued a Rotary call to action to fight the COVID epidemic. The three districts in Minnesota responded by using our tri-district public image website, rotarymidwest.org. I urge you to take a look at this site right after the video. There are numerous resources to help Rotarians and clubs spread the message of efficacy and safety of vaccines. There's even a People of Action photo tool to show and socialize your vaccine moment. The other district governors and Ed united as one voice to co-sign a letter to the editor which has been distributed to newspapers throughout Minnesota, Western Wisconsin, North Dakota, and a little bit of Ontario, Canada. You can pick up that letter and adapt it for your own community media. You'll also hear brought to you by Rotary on air spots on Minnesota Public Radio this time, we are encouraging listeners to get vaccinated and touting our experiences with the polio vaccine. Listen for those messages now through May. So what are we going to do? Visit rotarymidwest.org for more information on our COVID response and how you and your club can help. Kenny. Thank you, Kathy. The district's Conference of Clubs is a time we traditionally come together to celebrate and enjoy fellowship with our friends and fellow Rotarians throughout the district. This year, however, we are pivoting to a different conference experience, one that will allow engagement and fellowship, as well as introduce and celebrate our newest area of focus, the environment. We asked clubs to plan an environmental service project in their area during April or May. This could be brand new or something that you have done in the past. Awards and recognition ranging from engaging community partners to the dirtiest and trashiest will be given. Document your efforts using pictures, videos, and testimonials. We will celebrate your efforts on Saturday, June 5th in Hastings, Minnesota at Levy Park on the banks of the Mississippi River. Registration coming in soon. Watch your emails. In the meantime, click this link to download details on the contest and get ready to smile in those photos. Dale? Thanks, Kenny. Speaking of fellowship and service, here is a chance to connect with one of five clubs that have joined the efforts of Rotary Clubs in St. Louis and Baton Rouge to volunteer for the Mississippi River Cities and Towns Initiative. I like to call it Mr. City. That would be MRC. TI. The MRCTI is asking for volunteers to be citizen scientists and collect data and clean up the plastic litter they find. Five of our clubs have joined the efforts of those Rotary Clubs in St. Louis and Baton Rouge to volunteer for the Mississippi River Cities and Towns Initiative and be part of this citizen scientist effort to collect data to create a snapshot of the plastic pollution in the river. The data will assist scientists, policymakers, businesses, and citizens in taking action to mitigate the amount of plastic in the river, which eventually ends up in the Gulf of Mexico. If you, your fellow club members, or families are interested in joining this effort on Saturday, April 10th, or the 24th, you can click on this link for more information. Okay, Patricia, you're up. Thanks, Dale. Last month, clubs were introduced to that brand new four-way test story project. We were all invited to share a video recording or written story of how we use the four-way test in our lives. The goal of the project is to stimulate conversations about the four-way test. So I am pleased to announce that several clubs are doing just what we hoped. They are including time in weekly meetings to share examples of four-way test stories are just a reminder to keep the idea alive. 
And that's what Rotarians are all about, high ethical standards. So we're looking forward to seeing your stories. And thanks to our guest speaker, Kathy Inglesroot, and to all of you for joining us once again. If you have a special event coming up, drop us a line at dg at 5960.link and let us help you get the word out around the district. Enjoy the warm weather, y'all, and we will see you in May.